Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to connect AWS EKS using SSH in JK. Okay. So how to connect AWS using SSH in Jenkins. So let's start. So first of all, you can see this is my article. So we are going to follow this. So first of all, we need our two instance, right? First of all, for Jenkins and second for AWS EKS cluster, right? So as you can see here, here I have two instances, right? First for EKS. In this EKS, I have already installed, sorry, I have already created my cluster. EKS cluster, right? And the second one is Jenkins, right? So in this Jenkins, uh, in this Jenkins instance, I have already installed Jenkins, okay? And after that, here as you can see, in this EKS, I have created two cluster. Sorry, I have created cluster with the name Sample. So that's why, as you can see here, I have two instances: Sample, Linux, Nodes, right? And the second one is here. Okay, so that's why I have here, here I have successfully created my EKS cluster as well as here I have successfully installed my Jenkins. But remember one thing, we need a two instance, right? First for Jenkins to install Jenkins and the second one for EKS cluster. So that's why here I have two instances. In this I have successfully installed EKS cluster. So I have successfully created EKS cluster. And the second one in Jenkins, I have successfully installed Jenkins, right? So here you can see my Jenkins dashboard. Okay. So if you don't know how to create Amazon EKS cluster, then you can follow my articles. So you can this is my article. You can follow this article to create EKS cluster. Right. So you can see this is my article. So you can follow this to create Amazon EKS cluster using EKS city. And after that, if you don't know how to install Jenkins, so you can go to the official page of Jenkins, you can see. And from here, you can install Jenkins as well as you can go to my article, how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu. So you can follow this article to install Jenkins, okay? Okay, so now let's start to connect using SSH, right, in Jenkins. So here. So after that, the third step is we need to install some plugins here. So which plugins? So let's start. So first of all, go to the Jenkins, log into your Jenkins. So as you can see, here I have successfully logged into my Jenkins, right? Okay. Now the next step is go to the manage Jenkins, then manage plugins and click on available tab, available tab and search for SSH. Okay. So this is my Jenkins dashboard. Here I have successfully logged into my Jenkins. So as you can see, my Jenkins username is admin, right? You can see my username is admin. Okay. Now let's go to the manage Jenkins. So how to? So first of all, go to the dashboard and click on manage Jenkins. Then go to the plugins. Here you can see. Add, remove, disable, or enable plugins that can extend the functionality of Jenkins. So click on this plugin. And now go to the available plugins. And search for SSH. So after that, you can see the number of result of SSH, right? So here we need to install two plugins. Which plugins? First for SSH agent, you can see this plugin allows you to provide SSH credentials to build via SSH agent in Jenkins. And the second one is SSH pipeline step, right? So you can see here Jenkins pipeline step which provides SSH facilities such as commands, execution or file transfer for continuous delivery. So here I have I'm going to install these two plugins here. So check out these two plugins and click on install. So as you can see, success, 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 success. And it's pending, so wait for a few seconds. Okay, it's also success, okay. That means we have successfully installed two plugins. Which plugins? First for SSH agent and second for SSH pipeline step. Okay, now go to the dashboard. Okay, it's done. Right. 
let's take the next step and we'll do the article okay now the next step is here we need to add the pem file as a credential in jenkins so what is pem file right when we launch our instance then we need a pem file right here there we need a pem file so if i go to my aws and you can see if i launch my instance then there is a pem file we need to give the part of our pem file to our instance right so that's the pem file so that pem file we need to add a credi as a credential so we will add the pem file as a credential as follows so how to add so first of all log into your jenkins then click on manage jenkins and then go to the credentials and then click on global and then add credentials and after that here in kind right in under the kind scroll the drop down and list the choose ssh username with private key right and under the key copy the pem file and paste here and enter the username ubuntu right why because our username is ubuntu right so here in this my terminal you can see this is my eks cluster right this is my eks cluster and this is my jenkins server okay so here you can see in my eks cluster you can see my username is ubuntu right and here to connect to my eks cluster eks cluster in terminal there is a file dot pem file right so that's why here i'm going to use the pem file so first of all so you can see in this my image you can see okay so let's start so first of all log into jenkins and manage jenkins okay so go to the run. Jenkins dashboard, then manage Jenkins, then credentials. So, as you can see, as of now, there is no any credential you can see zero, right? So, let's add so click on global and click on add credentials. Okay, if I go to my articles, you can see in kind we need to choose this SSH username with private key. So let's click on this drop down and use choose this SSH username with private key. Okay. And after that, ID. So enter any ID. So I'm going to enter my ID. Okay. So my ID name is EKS cluster, then description. So yeah, I'm going to add description connect to aws and ks using ssh in jenkins okay. that username so i'm going to enter my username ubuntu why because my username is ubuntu then private key so enter directly and here we need to enter our private key here add and enter here so here is my pem file right that private key means our pem file so this is my pem file so let's copy my pem file and enter in this private key here okay so i'm going to skip this pass first if you want then you can fill it then click on create okay so my id is eks cluster the name is ubuntu right username and if you are going to enter connect to aws eks is the ssh in jenkins then kind our ssh username with private key and description connect to aws username in jenkins okay we have successfully add our credentials here okay okay let's go to the dashboard okay now the let's check, let's check the next step now it's done. Now the next step is use pipeline syntax to generate syntax to connect to AWS EKS using SSH. Right. So here we are going to use pipeline syntax. So how to use? So here, first of all, we are going to use pipeline syntax tool. 
So firstly, let's create a new pipeline. Log into Jenkins, then click on new item, and then enter the name of your project and select pipeline. Right. So let's go to the dashboard, and you can see new item. So let's create new pipeline and enter your pipeline name. So my pipeline name will be SSH. Click on pipeline. Select this pipeline. You can see. Okay, so as you can see, this is our pipeline, right? We have successfully created our pipeline with the name SSH, you can see. Okay, so now in general, I'm going to skip this general, then add on this project, just skip it, so go to the pipeline. So here. Yeah. And you can see, if I scroll down, you can see pipeline syntax. So first of all, go to the pipeline syntax, so it will open a new tab. You can see it will open a new tab. This is our pipeline, okay? Let's open a new tab. Okay. Now here we are going to generate our pipeline syntax. So how to generate? So first of all here in overview, let's say this clip generator will help you learn the pipeline script code which can be used to define various steps. Pick a step you are interested in from the list, configure it and click generate pipeline script. And you will see a pipeline script statement that would call the same that configuration and you may copy and paste whole statement into your script. Or pick, uh, pick up just the option you are about, care about, right? Okay. So let's, you can see sample step. So here we need to select one option. Okay. Let's click on the scroll down and I'm going to scroll down and you can see here I'm going to choose this SSH agent. You can see. Right. So click on it. And now after that here, select our username. This is our username Ubuntu Connect to AWS EKS using Jenkins, right? That uh, we have added in our credentials, right? Here we have added our dot pin file and all. Okay. So let's select and click on generate pipeline script. So as you can see, our pipeline script look like this. So copy this block and go to the Jenkins and enter the pipeline here. Okay. So after generating this pipeline syntax. My pipeline would like this. So my pipeline look like this. You can see. You can see the block that we have generated. Right. So first of all, here I'm going to enter pipeline, then agent any in stage. My stage name is connected with using SSH. Then in step SSH agent EKS cluster, right? So here I'm going to enter SSH and then you can see no and Ubuntu at the rate and here we need to enter our IP address. Which IP address? Our EKS cluster IP address. So where is my EKS cluster? In this EKS instance. So that's why I'm going to copy my EKS instance IP and paste here. And after that it will print kubectl get nodes, right? It will print here, kubectl get nodes. That means our nodes. Okay, that we have created in EKS cluster. Now click on save. And now click on build now. And now let's check our pipeline. So as you can see, it's failed. Why? Let's check. Permission denied. Okay, wait a second. Uh, 
okay so permission did not write that because here our name is wrong here ssh agent right our name is eks cluster hyphen uh, eks hyphen cluster right now let's change the ip address okay right because our secret name is eks hyphen cluster right when we create our sorry when we create our username and ss uh, username and password using ssh right when we create our credential so there is a name we need, we have we, we have enter a name eks hyphen cluster so that's why here we are going to use this ssh agent name here right eks hyphen cluster okay and after that change here your ip address which ip address eks cluster ip address right then click on save and now click on build now now as you can see our pipeline success you can see go to the console output and let's see so you can see when we run this kubectl gate nodes it will print our nodes right in eks cluster AWS eks cluster so it's done right you can see the output finished success so it's done so in this session we have learned how to connect aws eks using ssh in jenkins so thank you for watching